Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to properly measure small resistances. So here I have a transformer and I want to measure DC resistance of this secondary winding. So what I do, I will set the multimeter on ohm measurement and I connect the terminals to the terminals of the winding. Okay, so we can see that the DC resistance of this winding is 1.87 ohms. Now I'm going to measure this uh, resistance again using an external circuit. And that is basically this simple circuit. I use my DC power supply, I pass a current through the test subject, and I measure the voltage across the test subject. So I know the voltage, I know the current, I can divide these two, and according to Ohm law, I get the resistance of this object. V divided by I gives me R. Okay, so here is my uh, power supply, I connect it to the one terminal of the test object, then it goes to this one. I set this one to amp meter. And these two are connected together. And then with this, I'll measure the voltage across the test object. Okay. So I turn on my power supply and I increase the voltage. So depending on the test object, you can basically, whatever value that we have, we can just divide these two numbers and, and then we have the, the resistance of this um, test object. But here in this case, because the coil can handle high current, I will, I will go very close to the nominal current of this coil. The nominal current is 2 amps, but I go to 1 amp. Um, so here I set it to 1 amp. Okay, so I have 1 amp here. And uh, we can see that the voltage across the test subject is 0.55 volts and the current through it is 1 amp. So the DC resistance is 0.55 divided by 1, which gives me 0.55 ohm. But this is obviously not matching with the, with the previous measurement that we did. One thing to notice is that when you pass a DC current through a coil, especially if it is a large coil, you don't want to suddenly separate these terminals because then it will create an over voltage here and it might damage your equipment. So I will first decrease the voltage from the power supply such that we have very tiny amount of current turn off the power supply and then separate these terminals okay so what is the issue the issue is that when we when we measure small resistances we should also consider the the resistance of this terminal and the wires that is connected to the multimeter so to properly cancel that we have to first short circuit the the multimeter terminals and then basically this gives me 1.33 ohms this is the resistance of the whole setup right now and this has to be subtracted from whatever that we we measure later on so we, i can put it i can activate delta so this gives me zero now we have the reference value and then if i connect this to the to the winding we can see that the resistance of the winding is approximately 0 0.54 ohms which matches with the with our measurement using the external circuit. Okay, bye.